Welcome back to Employee Life. In this video, we will be covering the importance of listening to your valuable employees and how you can use Employee Life to do this in a better way than traditional annual employee surveys. Imagine for a moment that you were in a conversation with someone with the following rules. They are allowed to ask you whatever questions they want and you aren't allowed to clarify or provide context or get any feedback about any of your answers. Doesn't sound fair, right? Well, welcome to the average employee survey experience. Generally speaking, surveys can be a great way of getting feedback from a large number of people at the same time and are therefore very convenient. They also help to reduce the bias associated with human interactions. However, they suffer from a few fundamental problems which, when overlooked, can create more problems than they solve. Firstly, answers lack context. Because even if there is an opportunity to provide text comments, there is a limited amount of richness that an online survey can achieve. Now to overcome this, there is the temptation to ask more questions at the same time. The reality is, asking more online questions only provides the illusion of more context. The only real way to truly understand the drivers of what is happening in an organisation is to get out and talk to people as human beings. Surveys also simply represent a moment in time and the data is possibly out of date the minute a survey closes. Yet companies spend copious amounts of time and money poring over survey results believing that the information is static. It is simply not. And probably the most important point is the last one. Every single external consultant on the planet seems to have a set of questions that are purported to be the set of questions that can be properly used to diagnose an organisation. And that's not to say that they aren't. The question to ask is, are they the right questions for your organisation, or are they simply helping to build the consultant's benchmarking database? And as you're thinking about that, it's worth considering this. Every organisation is unique in its own way, but many of us seem to forget that. When it comes to surveys, there are many who will advocate the importance of benchmarking information, but here's the thing, whilst external benchmarks are interesting, they can be extremely distracting and focus attention away from the things that really matter to your organisation. Every organisation is unique. Its reason for being, the resources available, the internal expertise, and of course, the, its short and long-term goals. Employee life encourages a very different approach to surveys through a focus on the things that matter to your organisation only. Only measure what is important. And if you aren't in a position to do something about a particular topic, for example, training and development, then don't ask about it. At any given time, there can only be a handful of priorities that an organisation can focus on, and they need complete attention. Asking about things that don't matter at that moment in time simply neutralises messages, creates confusion, and defeats the simplicity and clarity objective. Let's take an example where an organisation has asked a number of simple rating style questions. Employee life codes all answers into a very simple positive, neutral or negative. And so here's the thing. If something is important, the ideal situation for an organisation is that 100% of employees feel that that thing is actually happening. The difference between 100% positive and the actual score provides a measure of the variance to that ideal situation. So in the example on the screen, the top two answers show that 60% of people feel positively towards the statement in question. This represents a 40% variance to the ideal situation. Surveys really can be, and should be, that simple. And by keeping polls short, the frequency can then be increased. Rather than asking people too many questions infrequently, and not really knowing what the data means anyway, employer life encourages short and regular polls about the things that matter and makes visualising the progress against these things far easier. The entire organisation becomes accountable to the promises that are made, action steps are easy to identify, and progress is easy to see. And most importantly, it keeps people talking about the things that matter most to the organisation at that particular point in time. So overall, when it comes to surveys, employee life helps to ensure you don't fall into the trap of relying on long 
and boring versions to improve your organization. Measure only the things that matter, do it regularly, and take action to improving those things that genuinely do matter. Also, remember to share all results and the progress of actions with your employees, because they'll love it.